Gaming. What's up guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ. Well, my PC build video of the month, which was November, I suggested to use an SSD. If you want to check out that video or the benchmarks for the November PC build, I'll put them in the cards listed above. But in that video, I talked about how I was going to make a video explaining the best way to use your SSD or to get the most out of it, and just some all around hard drive tips. So that's what this video is. But before we get into that, I just want to say I hope everyone enjoyed their holiday. I had a nice vacation. I hope everyone else did too. We're just coming off Thanksgiving and I kind of didn't feel like going back to work today. And my one friend has off all week. We work at the same place and he's sitting home watching a new Punisher series. That bastard. But enough about that. Let's get into the video. But before we talk about the merits, let me first explain how to set up a secondary drive. Because this is a question I get asked a lot. Like Windows doesn't automatically recognize my drive. How do I get it to see it? First thing is you want to just type the window button and type in disk partition. That's going to bring up your disk manager. Now if you have a drive installed, but it has not recognized it yet, it'll come up with this message. Initialize disk. You hit OK. Go to click new simple volume on the disk that's not being used. It'll say unallocated. Tell it how much you want to use, which this is like if you want to split the drive into two parts or even multiple parts, however many you want. Usually you're just going to leave it as one big drive. Assign it a path letter, which I like to use my mass storage as S for storage. All default settings are fine it's going to make it a new volume you can actually change that label to whatever you want it to say it could be simple mics shit it really doesn't matter and then boom you'll have it as a drive in this particular computer where i took these pictures it had a 256 gigabyte ssd with a two terabyte hdd so that's simple enough that's how you add drives now let's talk about how to make the best out of your current drive or your current setup if you do have an ssd all right so you're going to hit window again and you're going to type in storage hit enter or you can just click on it and it's going to give you a list of all your drives my computer i'm insane i have a lot of drives i get that but we want to go down to change work content and saved click on that see it's all to the c drive if you go back you look my c drive is my m.2 so we're gonna go which is basically an ssd that uses pci rail more about that later and then my mass storage is s so what we want is all these junk files that are going to crowd your c drive to go to the s so we're just going to move every single folder to s now what this is going to do is make new paths and new folders for every one of these applications, which is going to be the default place for your videos and all that nonsense. But the main thing is your downloads. Your downloads will take up a lot of space, so you can move that folder over there as well. But from here, here's all my documents and everything like that. This one didn't work, so I just tried it again because I did too many at once. So now the default locations, the photos, all that stuff is going to stay off your limited space SSD and is going to save to your mass storage. And then also if you want to come in here, you can make it so it gets rid of all your downloads every month if you want to check that. It'll delete the folder on a monthly basis, 30 days from when it was used. I personally like to keep all mine because every once in a while I'm like, oh man, where did I put that Windows ISO or where did I put that, you know, whatever it may be. So I never utilize that. But that's also an option for you guys. Now we can talk about the merits of an SSD. I want to give you some of my opinions and I want you also to keep in mind one thing I'm going to put at the door is an SSD is a good drive but it starts to lose its efficiency after two to three years so if you want a computer for a long haul it might not be the best idea but what I suggest doing is just constantly updating now I have a whole video talking about SSDs and comparing them to hard drives and I'll put a card to that video here it's a little bit different than your standard mechanical drive because of the fact that it doesn't have any moving parts. So it's basically all flash memory. And now there's advantages to that and disadvantages. All SSDs aren't created equal. And in that video, I explain a lot of basic information that you should know before you make one of these purchases to make sure that it's right for you. But for now, I want to give you some of my personal opinions. If you want to watch that video, just pause this one. Go watch that one. Get the information first. So you can use that information to add to what I'm saying here. But once again, a lot of people ask me, should I get an SSD? And then I've also heard a lot of people tell me that a 120 gig SSD is garbage and don't ever get it because you'll fill it up in no time. And I completely disagree. And I'll give you reasons why. When you're building a new computer, let's say, and you buy a 120 gig SSD for 40 to 60 dollars, whatever it may be. You put just your OS on that SSD, plenty of space for that. Everything else besides operating programs goes to your mass storage drive, your one terabyte Western Digital Blue or whatever you have, because those are relatively cheap, right? So now all your Steam games are on this other hard drive. So if you ever have a driver conflict or anything that's a real issue, or even if you just do this once a year, it's not a bad idea because you're going to have registry errors. You just put in your Windows ISO flash drive, make sure you have your Windows key and you reformat that SSD. 
And as soon as you're back, your computer's running fast again. It's got the newest updates and you don't lose any of your Steam library. And that's great. And also it's good for path of future upgrades. So if you put everything on just a hard drive, it's kind of more of a pain in the ass six months down the road that you want to take advantage of an SSD and it's quick boot speeds. Because primarily that's the best thing to do with an SSD is put your OS on it. But now you're going to have to delete everything you have when you add your SSD in because that's going to be your new OS. So getting it first makes more sense. But for backup reliability. Now this is some advice I would like to give everyone. They always say back up your pictures. You don't want to lose these things. What I suggest you do is every single year on the year for your phone, you can decide to keep these pictures off your phone or to keep them on your computer. But what I think you should do is you make a folder that says, for example, 2017 phone pictures, right? And you just unload every single picture you have into this folder. Now, obviously you're going to want to put this on your mass storage, right? Well, to back it up, it's only going to be what? Half a gig to 10 gigs. Maybe you can leave that on your SSD. So it's on your SSD. Now it's on your hard drive. Now it's on your phone. When you swap out for a new phone, you lose those pictures unless they're on the cloud, of course. But for you to lose them off your computer, it would have to be catastrophic. It would need to be like a fire. Like, how would you lose those pictures? Because if your hard drive fails, they're on your SSD. If your SSD fails, they're on your hard drive. You will never lose these pictures. And every single year, just add another folder to this mass folder of pictures. And this way, you never lose a single memory. It could be pictures of your kids, your cats, whatever the hell you're into. But that's just some advice. I lost pictures before. They're on old hard drives that I refuse to throw away just because there's some pictures that might be on there that I don't want to lose. So lastly, when you want to add a gaming drive and you already have your OS on an SSD, you just pop one in there. Say you get a 500 gig or 240 gig SSD, you can put it right in your case. You can use the method I showed you from the beginning to make it a drive. You can name it gaming drive, set up a folder on it, and boom, all your Steam games go there that you want to load quick, like your PUBGs, your GTA, and then all your other games which really won't take advantage of it, something like a Harvest Moon looking game, you could throw in your mass storage drive. Anyway, I hope this helps. Hope I gave you guys some good advice. And be sure to watch the other video to, to get a better understanding of SSDs versus hard drives. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Man, I can't wait to live stream tonight. I haven't live streamed in two weeks. It really got me. I'm, <laughs> I'm really missing it. I want to get with some friends, play some PUBG tonight, Borderlands tomorrow. It's going to be a great time. But anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. My name is Andrew. This is Elite Gaming HQ. Thanks for watching, guys.